Okay, so this is everything gotten from the Jersey Shore Blue Claws on May 4th, 2022. Uh, only a couple of things here. Um, there's really not a lot. There was no programs. Uh, if you're watching the full highlight video, you heard me mention in the intro, they have no programs, at least when I went, which is strange because this is a stadium that I've known for always having good free programs that you just walk in and they're right there. Uh, and they also didn't have pocket schedules, which is even more strange because every team has a pocket schedule. So it's strange that uh, Jersey Shore just didn't have them. Like I said, at least yet, it was early in the season. It was, you know, early May. Yeah, they're a month into the season, but maybe it's still too early in the season, you know, for them to get some stuff. I, I have no idea what the uh, uh, thing is there. But anyway, I will show the couple things that I do have. And here you just see the, you know, printed ticket Jersey Shore versus Hudson Valley Yankees affiliate May 4th, um, $16, um, you know, and then some advertisements like fireworks, um, the store, uh, some deals, some boardwalk groups, I guess. Uh, anyway, that's it. And here is the souvenir cup for 2022. We get a little bit more light on this. We get a little bit more light from this angle. Yeah, it's a little better. Uh, anyway, you see the Jersey Shore Blue Claws logo, the newer logo. You see the main part of the cup is this yellow. The Shore's hometown team have alternate crab logo next to a few scattered red, white, maybe just, yeah, it is red, white, and blue stars. See the crab logo, like I said, uh, stitches in the crab. See a picture of the ballpark. And the main crab logo on this side, you have a picture of a lighthouse, not sure what town, but a picture of a lighthouse next to seashells and beach balls. Another picture of, you know, walkway onto the beach here with a pail and shovel. And picture of crab with the bucket on his head. Uh, and a bunch of the caps uh, next to the ocean. And then a ride, one of those giant swing rides somewhere on a boardwalk, I presume. Uh, and with sunglasses, and you see a Ferris wheel and roller coaster in those sunglasses. So overall, pretty cool cup. I like when uh, promotional things like this include, you know, like real pictures. That's, uh, that's cool that they do that. And they really are obviously going all in on not just Lakewood, but... Um, you know, the whole Jersey Shore, which I, for marketing wise, I think is very smart. You know, I, I've mentioned a couple times where it's like, it's still hard for me to remember that they're Jersey Shore, not Lakewood. But from a marketing standpoint, marketing to the whole Jersey Shore is very smart <laughs> because the um, the teams that are in Jersey, on that side of the state, there, there's really not a whole lot, uh, especially South Jersey. You know, Camden is gone. That was really your only team. And, um, I know that's not the shore, but, you know, just South Jersey in general. And, you know, a lot of the teams that are in New Jersey are very North. So, um, so it's good that, uh, the Blue Claws can essentially market to a lot of the state this way. Uh, you know, being the only team represented, uh, for the whole Jersey shore like that. So, and Atlantic City's gone. That's probably a better example Atlantic City has also been gone for a number of years now so um anyway that is pretty much it for me thanks for watching and I will see you all later